Sandy and today I'm going to show you how to make palazzo pants in a very 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 easy way so let's see here suppose you have your fabric and in this case is two meters and a half of fabric and my fabric is one meter and a half uh, width so folded by the middle again folded by the middle in the same way and here you have a fold and two single layers and here you have a double fold so from this side with the double fold we will start to trace a line and going up two inch and a half trace another line now from this point take your measure tape and find in the top line the fourth part of your waist adding two inch so this line at the end it must be the measure I told you fourth part of your waist adding two inch now take this line as a reference and draw another line in 90 degrees down and mark 5 inch down and from here to here mark 10 inch take this line as a reference and trace another 90 degrees line and here here mark 2 inch this will be our crotch area now from this point to down the length of your band and transfer the same length moving your measure tape like this taking as a base your waist waistline and trace the bottom part of your pant now join these lines and draw your crotch area making a curve here and that's it is that easy you have your patterns ready now cut it in the bottom part and in the inner leg part and in the crotch area you have to cut outside of the line considering this for stitches and in the top part cut directly in the line because we consider it already separate your pieces and after that this space is for our elastic now let's see how to make the real one I have my fabric here and I fold it as I told you so first I will draw my waistline I have my two lines here and if you remember I told you you have to find the measure of your waist adding two inch starting from the first line and finishing in the second line in the top part then trace it now the crotch area aha uh -huh, I'm tracing my crotch area and now I am marking the length of my pant transferring the same length all over the bottom part and trace it now cut it remember in the crotch area in the inner leg part and in the bottom part you have to cut outside of the line most of all in the bottom part we will adjust it later now open your both pieces like this and here you have your crotch area so sew it first join your both pieces I am using a semi-elastic fabric to make my pant if you are using a similar fabric don't pull your fabric like this in the back part of your machine because you will ruin the stitch now open it from here from the middle point and 
Now you have your crotch area ready. Now we will sew the inner leg part all over these lines. In this case, since my fabric is semi-elastic as I told you, I will start in the middle point in my crotch area. So I will start from there and first sew one leg. And then, starting again from my crotch area, I will sew the other leg. Now it's ready. Now we have to put the elastic in this part. Remember we leave enough space to attach our elastic. And we will sew it in the same way I showed you in my other tutorials. Let's see how to do it. First, close your elastic. I will make a double stitch. Then cover your elastic with the top part of your band and sew it. Remember, don't touch the elastic. Don't stitch it. Sew from outside and you will have your elastic inside. Now pull it to distribute it inside your fabric like this. And now we will stitch here. In this case, since my elastic is uh, so wide, I will make two lines of stitch. First, a stitch here. And I get I got something like this. Now I will make another stitch next to the first one. Just uh, stitch in a normal way, just keep pulling your elastic like this and sew all over around. Now it's ready, you have your elastic done. Now your pant is ready, I told you it's so so easy, you only have to work with the bottom part here. You can choose any border you want, I will make a simple hem because I don't want to mess with the natural shape of my pant, so I recommend to use also a simple one. And that's it, your palazzo pants are done, I hope you like it. If you do, please press the like button below this video. Find more information about it if you want the free patterns for this kind of pants. You can find the instructions to request your patterns in the information box below this video. So open it and send me a mail if you want it. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so YouTube will tell you whenever I post a new video so we can keep in touch in that way. In the screen I will leave you my social network so you can contact me there in any case you need me. So see you in the next video and happy stitches for everyone!